in today's uh, video. We just did a little weigh in and the weight is going back down. Uh, right now we are, are on a little reverse diet, so we're pushing the calories back up. But because the weight is still dropping, we want to upgrade our calories to 3200. So I'm happy with that. I can eat more. And I want to get, ask you guys one little thing. When you take pictures of your weight, don't put your feet on the pictures. Make sure to have some socks on because your feet are fucking ugly and nobody wants to see it. So yeah, that being said, make sure to have some dope socks. So when you do a picture of your weight, it's kind of funny but down to your barefoot. So yeah, now we'll make a little meal, but before we do that, let's roll the intro. Can you hear the sound? As breakfast, we got ourselves a little smoothie bowl. So we got uh, 300 grams of quark or low fat yogurt, and we got uh, 60 grams of Raspberries, we will add uh, 30 grams of uh, crunchy granola to it and also 5 grams of sea seeds just for some healthy fats. As pre workout meal, we will get ourselves 400 grams of mashed potatoes, uh, 150 grams of beans, and then just some chicken. So it's pretty basic uh, and I would recommend you guys to add a lot of salt before you go to the gym to your meals because that will make sure your pumps will be more juicier than last time. We are on our way to the car because we are about to hit our workout and no we aren't going to do a home workout. We're going to train in a real gym so I'm super excited about that so I'll see you guys there. As pre-workout we will get ourselves uh, 10 grams of citrine malate. We already had some caffeine in the morning, so we're still having a lot of energy, just getting some citrine malate in for some extra pump. So I will drink this and then we are ready to smash this just workout. We just finished that workout, it was an intense one and I'm glad I'm back able to train in a gym. Right now we will be eating uh, protein pancakes as post-workout meal with a banana and some sugar-free syrup, so I will show you. So now we will eat this meal and then we have to talk about something because my workout plan is already changing but I will tell you that in a bit. So we destroyed that post-workout meal. I want to ask you guys, when you're done with training, add some uh, fast carb sources to your meal. I added a banana so I can refill the muscle glycogen, so that being said, now let's talk about the workout split. So the gym where I'm going to works in zones, so there's a leg, a leg day zone, a push day and a pull day zone. 
So for that reason, I can do my splits that I made for myself because I did a push pull, legs, shoulders and arms, push uh, ch chest and back and then off. And then another one, but I can't. And then other push workout? I think, I don't know for sure, but yeah, it's a different style. So now I will go back to push pull legs, push pull legs. And I'll, I'll take a rest day or not. I will see how tired I am or when I'm short on time, I will do a shoulder and arm day at home because I'm still have, having my equipment. And yeah, it's still a one hour drive because 30 minutes to that place and 30 minutes back but yeah it's better to train in that environment because yeah the machines are way better and I will make some solid progress so that being said now we will study a little bit more and then I'll see you guys when we talk about the next thing okay guys I have to show you something so it's starting to snow how crazy is this a few hours ago I just was training outside to wait for us Okay, but now a few hours later it started snowing so I'm happy that I did the chest workout so early today because in this weather the gym would be closed and I would miss a workout in the gym so I'm happy that I was able to do the workout so yeah I hope the snow disappears because tomorrow we have a leg day and I don't want to miss this one As last meal for today we will have some uh, low fat yogurt together with an apple I like to go for a low fat yogurt in the evening because it's a slow digesting protein and that's what you want to have before you go to bed. Uh, I will also be doing a full day of eating in the future. I won't do it today or in the next one because my diet is constantly changing because I'm in a reverse diet and yeah, it's pro probably not the best thing to do. So for that reason, I will be doing a full day of eating on a bulk very soon. But for now, we will keep it with just some meals to give you guys some ideas. So, that was for today's video guys, thanks for watching, make sure to give it a damn like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next week, peace out.